Coach, obviously a tough showing this past Tuesday night. What were your touching points to the team after the game and during practices this week? Yeah, you know, it's one of those games you got to flush quickly. You know, we got a quick turnaround here with Ohio U on Friday night, but um, you got to own it. Right? We didn't have our best performance. Toledo, give them all the credit in the world. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. That's um, as good as I think they can play. And, and they did it right for 40 minutes on um, both ends of the floor. And we unfortunately missed some, some kind of easier shots around the rim and some open jump shots and things didn't go our way. So it's all about your response, right? And being able to fix things live. You can't always control maybe the, what, what's happened in the past, but you can control the response piece moving forward. As you just pointed out, we take on Ohio in the Battle of the Bricks this Friday. How big of an opportunity is this game to end the regular season on a high note against your biggest rival? Yeah, it's a huge opportunity. Listen, Ohio is playing terrific basketball. They're the hottest team in the MAC. If you look at kind of what they've done over the last eight, nine games, um, Coach Bowles is doing a great job um, getting them back in here in our place. Last game in Millette this year. So I encourage all the fans and, and students to get out here uh, to support us. Um, but it's a great it, – because, it, listen, you don't want to go into the MAC tournament limping in. You want to go in kind of on a good note. And, uh, and play in rivalries, that's what college bas and college athletics are all about, right? And um, I know our fan base, our alumni base, our former players. We had a couple former players on our Zoom call last night. Um, and they, 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 they love this game. They're, all, they're, they're heavily in tune to what's going on in this game. So we want to represent all the former players and former coaches and former managers the right way. And we're going to be uh, honoring Coach Coles um, on, on Friday night as well. I want to mention that. Um, his family will be here in Millette, which will be, uh, which will be good to see. It is also senior night this Friday. Can you touch on the impact Darwishi Anderson and Bryce have had on the team this year? Yeah, listen, I, I, you know, I've been the narrative we've been using with our guys here the last month is is we're doing it for those three guys, right? Send them out the right way. You know, it's for those guys kind of light at the end of the tunnel when you kind of get towards the end of your college career. When you're a freshman, you always feel like, listen, I got I got a lot of games left, you know, and um, I think all of our younger guys, underclassmen, our juniors, sophomores and freshmen, they love those three guys because of the type of people they are. They're incredible human beings. Um, they're terrific teammates. They work really hard. They've represented Miami in the right way, both on and off the court. And uh, we want to send those guys out the right way. All three of them meant a lot to our program. And now I do want to mention Landon Hoover, who's a student manager for us. Um, he's in his last year um, as well. So it's kind of senior night for, for he goes by Lando uh, around our program. But Landon, um, sometimes I think a lot of times people don't understand how important uh, student managers are uh, to uh, running a, a, a program. They do a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, he's here all the time getting our guys shots up, um, cutting film. Uh, he, do, he does, they do everything, he does everything. I mean, he's almost like an assistant coach, and I know that's what he wants to be long term. And he's meant a lot to our program even before I got here. You know, again, I, I'll never forget when I when I got here. I talked to uh, Coach Rutter, uh, who's now at Western Michigan, and, and Coach Owens, um, and they said, "Man, Landon's phenomenal." He was kind of my my office dog. I called him there for a while. It was just me and him for the first month. You know, he was in the office all the time, helping me out. And I was like, "Man, who is this guy? He's a junior." Um, He's a, he's a student manager. He's just always around. But he kind of showed me the ropes around here around Miami the first month on the job.